If you are a hoop or QSNAP user, you've probably heard of these, Nerd Hoops. I was curious. Join me as we find out if they are worth the hype. Hi everybody, my name's Melissa. I go by Stitching Liz here on YouTube and also over on Instagram. I hope you'll follow me in both places and welcome back or welcome to my video. Thanks so much for joining me. In my recent video, Retreat for One, I showed you that I got a set of Nerd Hoops. It came with three sizes and I thought we should test them out. So join me as we find out more and see if these hoops are as good as everybody's saying. Okay, so first I wanna start out by showing you some examples of hoops and Q-snaps. So this is a standard wooden hoop. You can see it has a screw at the top that loosens the tension and this inner hoop comes apart and you're able to slip your fabric in between. There is no groove, no anything, it's all smooth. Um, so the tension holding your fabric can get loose as time goes on. So that's a wooden hoop. There are plastic hoops that are similar. I have this big one. It's got a screw top. Again, this is not grooved on the inside. It's just smooth. So the fabric can loosen pretty easily. This is my favorite hoop. It has a screw at the top and it has a ridge on the inner hoop that slips into the groove in the outer hoop. And it kind of locks your fabric nice and tight and keeps tension pretty long. There are also Q-snaps. I am not a Q-snap user. I have this one left over. I gave my Q-snaps away because I wasn't a huge fan of the bulkiness of a Q-snap. But I do like that it has a lot of face value, a lot of space in between the bars. So the Nourish Hoops that I got are a set of three. This is a number two, this is a number three, and the big one is a number four. They're measured in millimeters, but I took out my tape measure, and you can see that the inner part of this is a little, a little bit close to six inches, and it's almost six inches across. It's a little bit smaller across. So these are not actually square. They are rectangular. So this number two is around six inches. The medium one is around eight inches. And the number four big one is around 10 inches. They have a screw at the top, just like all the other hoops. But you can see the screw turns here and loosens over here. And that's where it comes apart. This also has a groove. It's not as prominent as my favorite hoop, but it does have a groove here on the inner hoop and also a groove to catch it on the outer hoop. So, let me show you how the fabric loads into this hoop. I have this piece of fabric here and you take the inner hoop and you lay it down and you center your fabric whichever way you'd like and lay it over your inner hoop. Then you can take your outer hoop and press down around you might need to loosen the screw a little bit and then press. 
Then you can tighten the screw and you have really good tension on your fabric. And the groove holds the fabric pretty tight. I recently stitched an entire project on this Nurge hoop. And it stayed tight almost through the entire project. It only lost tension right towards the end. It started to get a little floppier and loose. But you can see I used this Nurge hoop to stitch this project. And I was very happy with it. I would say it's just as good as my favorite hoop. So I thought we would test one more thing about the Nurge hoop, and that is how well the creases come out with an iron. So we're gonna take a look at that. You can see there are creases where the hoop was um, around the fabric. So let's see how well that comes out with an iron. Just one second. Okay, so we're ready to try the iron on this fabric. This is um, Ada, so I use the cotton setting and I turn it over so that I'm ironing the back of the fabric. So let's see how well these creases come out. I found with hoops that you have to be a little persistent getting the creases out, but with my hoop, depending on what the Ada is made out of, whether it's stiffer or um, floppier, the hoop marks do come out fairly well. So look at that. I don't see any more hoop marks on the back. I do see a little mark still on the front. And since that's not on the stitching, I'm just going to go over that a little bit. Okay. So I think that's pretty good. Not bad. So I think it passes the iron test. What do you think? So what did you think? Did the Nurge hoop look good to you? I found it easy to use. I found it held the tension of the fabric. And I found that the hoop marks ironed out fairly easily and fairly quickly, leaving my fabric nice and neat. So I would recommend these. They are uh, inexpensive. You can get them right on Amazon. That's where I got my set. And um, I hope that you have a great time stitching with the Nerd Hoop. Thank you so much for joining me and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.